Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Wow, family dynamics. We have some things going on that's showing up in the world concerning family dynamics. Now, we don't have to focus on the fact that we have multiple families that are um, known in the public's eye throughout the world that are coming up with family issues. We don't have to look at that to know that there are problems with families, but this here is a identification uh, that there is a problem. Exposures come out and sometimes, you know, the exposure is not the truth, but the fact of the matter that there is um, challenges in our families that need to be dealt with are there. And you know, one of the, the things about all of this is, is that sometimes your family can't help you. Sometimes you can't help the child. In each situation, we see men that have the challenge with these families. Um, and I'm talking about from the Royal uh, Palace to um, Kirk Franklin's um, son. These are young men that are challenged. Um, within their own thoughts concerning what they feel and what what part they play in their family. Because you see what happens is, is that we all have a part to play. And depending on how um, we are reared um, is how we play our part. And sometimes we may be reared, um, as Ricky Smiley said, given everything yet, nothing satisfies us. So we could look at the dynamics with these two young men and their family from that point of view, or we could say, you know, possibly that there is something going on in these families. However, the focus and what I saw is that it's a message that our men need help because out of the loins of the families and leaders are the men right? And the issues behind some of our men um, have to do with leadership. Um, yes, there are families where, you know, young men were brought up by their mothers and, you know, the mothers played a dynamic part in their lives, but then there are some that were reared by mothers and it just didn't work out so well for them. We want to look at all of these different dynamics. And then you'll go over here and look at you know, the fact of the matter that they're going to be in a position to raise their own um, families or children. And what happens because I as a mother or someone else as a mother and a young father made a mistake. And this is where we have to go back and make changes because the men, even when you look at Kanye West, there is a struggle going on with men knowing their roles in the family. Now, I won't say that women don't, but I wanna focus on what's going on and what is facing us right now. Um, when you do statistics, you'll find that there are 60% women that are raising um, children by their self. Now, fathers have begun to step up where there's mothers that are not as um, responsible to take care of their children. So I don't want anybody to be offended. I want you to get real because there's a message coming over. And, you know, I had someone that um, had been talking to me about um, the way that men um, address women when they're trying to um, get a date. So we have a lot of issues with how men come across, yet they talk about how we as women come across. So getting back to these men um, from the palace to Kirk Franklin's um, son, I don't, I don't really think that there is um, a blame. I think that there is a need for us to take a good look at what's happening and begin to work together to correct our own family issues. And that means that we have to become vulnerable and say that we messed up somewhere. And that is even if I had a child at an early age and didn't know what to do with it, and I did, you know? 
we have to become vulnerable. And I can say that I have a son that is in, you know, a mental institution because he didn't call me on the phone and cuss me out. He actually attacked me. And it's not for the public to feel that I am putting myself in a victim's um, mization um, position. It is to address the issue that mothers need help raising their children when they get pregnant by a man. Men need to get classes and become vulnerable to learn how to raise their children. They don't need to walk away because the relationship is not working. They need to face the problem that the women have to face as well. And yes, you may not be able to work it out, but you can co-parent if you are open to get healthy counseling and coaching. And I'm going to leave it there today. Um, I'm going to have a young lady come on with me and we're going to talk about how men are approaching women to date them. You want to have sex the first date. Did you think about the baby that could come through that? Let's get into that next. Okay. You guys have a wonderful evening and we're all about the coaching. You can see that right on this here billboard. I have others that work with me, leadership development, behavior specialist, spiritual influencer, executive coaching. We have nutrition coaching, um, business coaching, uh, wellness coaching, um, life coaching, spiritual coaching, whatever you need. Right now, we're in a season where spirit is asking us all to embrace. Even the ones that didn't believe, let's say the unbeliever is being called to embrace your spiritual fortification, your background, your stand. It doesn't mean that you have to be in a temple or a, a church to embrace it, but it means that your heart, it's time to open up that heart and receive the truth of who you are. Have a wonderful evening, day, wherever you are. And give me some feedback at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Please do not send me any emails that are about mess. We are on a mission to make changes. All right. Blessings. <laughs>